<clears throat> God spare us from the Reverend Creflo Dollar. Once, when considering someone's sainthood, the Catholic Church would assign one person to argue against it, just to make sure they'd looked at everything and weren't sainting someone unworthy. They called that person the devil's advocate. Today, that's me. I grew up Catholic. And our saint under consideration is the Reverend Dr. Creflo Dollar. I don't think he's Catholic. There's a resolution in the Georgia State Senate to dedicate a stretch of Old National Highway after him. Yes, this is the same guy who asked his congregation to fund a $65 million G650 Gulfstream jet for his use last year. Verily, unto thee behold the palatial splendor of the million dollar homes he lives in while his flock catches a martyr bus to his services. Seriously. Look, what happens between you and God and Creflo Dollar and your wallet is none of my business. But when we're talking about driving down a public road paid for with my tax money, it is my business. And speaking of taxes, mega churches are tax exempt. We have no idea what portion of its multi-million dollar revenue actually comes back into the community. As State Senator Donzella James suggests makes dollar worthy of our honors. We have only his word about his church finances. Oh, we tried to find out. Evander Holyfield gave him $4 million. A judge ordered Dollar to testify at the divorce trial about it. Creflo refused. A 2007 U.S. Senate investigation looking into financial abuses of tax exemptions by televangelists asked Dollar for his numbers. Creflo refused. So Creflo Dollar can thumb his nose at the public when it suits him. And we're supposed to forget about that because he runs a food pantry and a clothing closet like 20 other big churches in Fulton County. Two quotes come to mind. One from the Georgia Constitution. No money shall ever be taken from the public treasury, directly or indirectly, in aid of any church, sect, cult, or religious denomination, or of any sectarian institution. And one from the Bible, Matthew 22, 21. Render therefore unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and unto God the things that are God's. Creflo Dollar Highway? No. Okay, disclaimer time. In case it wasn't completely obvious, these are my opinions and not those of Fox 5 News or uh, anyone who works here. Uh, but I do want to know if they're your views. So tell us if you like it or not. And maybe I'll respond to you on Fox 5 News.